How do you see the future of the hobby unfolding? In the next five years, I think that the tabletop RPG experience is going to remain mostly the same. Now, I've seen a lot of worries about AI taking over or TTRPGs going to uh, entirely digital platforms and virtual tabletops and things like Roll20, which certainly have been a big influence on the hobby over the past few years, but I, I don't see any negative future for my local game stores or anyone who wants to play tabletop games at a physical table with physical books. I know some people are like, oh no, that's that can't possibly be correct. You know, Wizards of the Coast wants to make everything all digital and a subscription service. And I'm like, well, they can try, but in the end, I feel like any type of endeavor from a major company that wants to do that is going to eventually fall flat on its face. People want the social experience and the tangible fun gameplay experience that can only occur in person in the real world you can play online with cameras and things like that uh, we did that in covid but it's still not the same um, now one thing i do see happening is another shift towards um, complexity first of all and towards rule systems and games that are not D D or wizards of the coast based I mentioned this on another stream recently. I, I believe that the industry kind of wavers and has cycles. It goes between simplicity and complexity. You now, for example, in the 80s, um, there was a desire for more complex, crunchier gameplay that was more realistic and offered more options. And that's how Palladium became more popular. And for a while, there were only Palladium and GURPS books on the shelves. And then people got tired of that, and Vampire the Masquerade-style games became more popular. And then people got tired of that, and 3rd Edition became more popular, and Pathfinder, which brought it back. And then people, you know, you can kind of see the pattern there. And now we're in a phase where Rules Light seems to be having uh, a major impact on the hobby, and I don't think that's going to last. You know, there's a ton of rules light engines out there. New OSR games coming out that contend to be rules light. And eventually people are going to get bored with that as well and desire a little bit more complexity, especially people that are more experienced in RPGs, having perhaps even started the hobby with D&D 5th edition. So that's where I think we're headed next. I, th I think we're headed towards more complexity. And number two being non-Dungeons and Dragons material. Again, there tends to be this opinion among certain vocal crowds that a, a large portion of players out there in the RPG world are just what we would call tourists. They got in because they saw Stranger Things and Critical Role, and they played Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition and once that wears itself out and Wizards of the Coast starts to do something else, they'll ditch the hobby and move on and not play anything else. I don't think that's the case either. I think that if you are having a lot of fun at the table, playing D&D &D or whatever, regardless of what Wizards of the Coast does, it's very rare that I see someone just say, oh, I guess I'm through, and they just hang up their hats and they're done playing RPGs forever. That just doesn't Maybe that happens a few times, uh, but I, I don't see that happening at my local game store, that's for sure. People always are looking for something more fun. They want new options, new branching activities that they can participate in. And that's another reason why I think that there will be more interest in game materials that have nothing to do with Wizards of the Coast, because... Even the quote-unquote tourists are kind of soured on what WotC has been doing with Dungeons & Dragons. So maybe we'll see a return to more classic rule sets, not the OSR necessarily, although that is a major influencer here. But people will start to look for sci-fi and horror and go back to Call of Cthulhu. And it's a shame that some companies are just destroying the franchises that they've inherited, like White Wolf. Won't get into that. But those are the two major points I wanted to make is 
move towards complexity to support that move more interest in especially third-party uh, games that are not Dungeons and & Dragons. And we'll see what happens.